Hello guys, so welcome. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Olivia and this is my channel. Today is kind of rainy day outside, so I just want to feel like really cozy and snuggle and that, although I have a lot of work to do um, and I have to eat, right? So today I want to take you on a journey what I make for breakfast, lunch and dinner as a vegan in particularly. I'm going to use the simple ingredients. Uh, there's nothing too crazy, very easy to make. It takes about 15 minutes for each recipe to do. Actually, I have no idea what I'm gonna eat today yet but we'll find out very soon um, it's been very new journey for me uh, being vegan so I wanted to document it as well and show you guys that you can do it as well if you want to challenge yourself or want to uh, change your diet for certain reasons um, it's not as complicated uh, it's very good for you um, as an experiment and see if you can actually stick with this kind of diet and uh, so I want to take you with me on this journey and kind of show my meal preparations for the day so let's just go Today for breakfast I'm gonna make scrambled tofu with nutritional yeast and plant-based patties. Nutritional yeast is a really good source of vitamin B12, especially if you're on a vegan diet. I'm gonna add some tomatoes, uh, spinach, scallions, and this plant-based patties are really good. They're a little bit on the sweet maple side, which I really really like, and make transition to vegan diet uh, much easier. I'm probably gonna add some balsamic on top of it, my favorite everything bagel seasoning and absolutely love it. Gonna add some salt, pepper, garlic, maybe some avocado at the end. We will see how it's gonna go. So let's start. So first I'm gonna take my frozen patties and I'm gonna start preparing them as I go. It's gonna take not a long time. I'm gonna take a little bit of spinach and put it on the pan for it to cook a little bit. Diced tomato and a small cubes uh, because I really love adding tomatoes or to all my morning breakfast. Then we're gonna add some tofu and uh, so it's gonna look like scrambled, put nutritional yeast on top of it to give this cheesy look, add some garlic, avocado, and scallions right on top of this. Look how good this looks. Oh my god, this is so delicious. It takes literally five minutes to make and we're gonna put all this on top and sprinkle with scallions and then everything bagel seasoning as well as some balsamic glaze on top of it and here we go looks just amazing isn't it for a lunch i'm gonna make some coconut wraps i really really like this organic wraps they are gluten-free and it's easier to wrap anything it doesn't break at all so you can make everything pretty quick then I'm gonna add some avocado to it, again tofu, some tomatoes, onions, and uh, a little bit of potatoes on the side. I'm gonna dice some onions over here to add to my wrap. Then we're gonna add it to potatoes that are already cooking. Add some tomatoes as well. I really love tomatoes, didn't I already say it? Yeah, I add it to everything in my cooking as well as onions, smash some avocado a little bit, I use just a half, that's enough uh, fat for me for the day because I had it in the morning. I'm adding a little bit of hummus inside my coconut wrap because, you know, I like hummus. I usually make my own but I didn't have time today to do it. And I'm gonna add some tofu. I didn't want to cook it today because I wanted to make everything really quick. Uh, I had some work to do later on. I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes, avocado on top of that, of course. And I love avocado as well, but I really wish I can have more in a day, but it's already plenty. I'm gonna add onions as well. I'm not gonna cook them on the pan this time. A little bit of spinach on top so it's pretty much the, almost the same ingredients as I did this morning because I don't have the, as much as in my fridge right now so now we're gonna try to wrap it really nicely the way you would usually wrap burrito uh, but this time it's not gonna um, break and that's what I like about coconut wraps they also have this little bit uh, sweetness to it 
um, so it makes uh, food taste really different and interesting so here's the final product I know it's not as healthy as the option ever but I put some buffalo sauce on top of it but this is lunch so I can do this for a snack today, I'm having my uh, yogurt on coconut milk. I usually add granola to it. This one I really like. It has peanut butter and it's really nice and sweet. I usually add some uh, pecans to it and walnuts as well to make it kind of healthy, nice midday snack. And I always sprinkle something with my hemp hearts and here we go, it really looks nice. So for dinner I decided to make a curry and we're gonna use sweet potatoes and cauliflower um, as well as some onions, tomatoes, I'm gonna use red lentils, they cook really fast, organic balsamic rice, curry powder, coconut milk and a spinach. So let's start with that. Uh, first of all, I cooked red lentils, it was really quick and easy process, diced tomatoes and onions of course, added that on the pan and cooked a little bit, added my spinach on the top, then everything else already kind of cooked and I added coconut milk and look at this delicious goodness that's already made. And here I serve it in a bowl just like that, really nice dinner. So this is it for today guys, thank you for watching, if you have any comments or want me to do another video, uh, please comment down below, I really appreciate it and thank you for staying with me, uh, thank you for cooking and watching with me, uh, it's been fun and I hope that this video is gonna give you some kind of inspiration, maybe try some recipes at home and try to uh, challenge yourself to be vegan. I was a little bit skeptical before or um, becoming vegan I didn't know how it's gonna affect my health but it's been alright so far I didn't have any problems uh, actually I don't have any cravings anymore of uh, sugar after a big meal uh, maybe because I don't eat meat or fish products it's kind of easier I don't need to eat anything sweet afterwards so I'm very excited about that and um, I hope to continue my journey on vegan diet and if you tried and you're new as well um, to being vegan and just comment down below let's share our experiences and let's talk more about that and thank you for watching thank you for coming to my channel please subscribe for more videos bye